Hello everyone! Now I'm making sure that I actually hit record this time because yes, I did another video without hitting record. So this is my day, um, my updates, and you can see we got a little bit to cover here, but I promise we'll get through it. All right. Um, oh, and my speech therapist has also said that my handwriting is getting a lot better and I think I agree with her because I think you guys could actually read those notes. Yay! All right, next time I'll let you guys read them for me. All right, so round two. Yes, making sure. Okay, really, it's good. It's a recording. Uh, so I bonked my elbow on the YouTube stool I use um, because I, I like to use it if I'm watching a movie or recording a video because it holds it up um, but it also is really um, it hurts if you bung it with any part of your body so I, because I had left it out on the bed then I bunged myself um, I think everything should just have a cushion on it for me or a padded suit would be you know um, so there maybe we are on to some you know big money-making invention there for the Huntington people all right <clears throat> I took out the oh right um when I you know when I'm making my coffee I always uh, get the spoon for the Nesquik, a tablespoon, and, and I grabbed a fork instead of a spoon, which is not going to do me very much good. Um, and flush the toilet twice. I've never done that before, um, but it was like, yeah, at least I flushed it and, you know, didn't leave it in there. Um, so I forgot if I took my medicine when my sister-in-law was here. Um, she was sitting at the table, um, and I was like, did I take my notes? And she said yes. So that's why I have my wonderful, loving people around. Um, I also bit my finger um, that same morning. Um, apparently, this looks delicious to me if I'm, you know, putting something in my mouth to eat. And I ate my finger a little. See? <gasps> oh, no! Okay, just kidding. Um, and, right. Oh yes, I stabbed myself in the face with a fork this morning. Tell me how I did that. I don't know, except I think um, because I also had one of those situations this week um, where I dropped my phone on the table, like it feels like I'm throwing it. Um, so I think with the fork um, that I'm losing more coordination with my hands and the ability to hold on to stuff like I was before. So um, that's why I think um, that I, what's going on with the throwing stuff accidentally um, out of my hands. So um, yes, I whacked my knuckles on the bathroom counter. That hurt really bad. Um, okay. Oh, and I'm using the grabber again. Um, well, not again, I ordered it, I told you guys to be able to reach across the cart and get the lock up and it works. So invest in one. Um, they're really good to have, you know, even pulling, getting on uh, stuff off the floor. Um, but I did think it might be f funny to use it on my brother on his butt, but I decided at the last minute not to do that, but that's what it's, you know. So yes, get one cause they're great and they don't cost very much money. Um, oh. Yes. Oh, tripped while I was running. And this was one of those, oh my gosh, I'm going down and ended up catching myself. Um, so those scary moments, because I'm like, no, it's supposed to be out of my system for a year, you know, according to how, how often I've fallen while running. And then also um, keep almost rolling my ankle, which is even more scary because if I do, I will be out of commission for running for a while um but the pt my physical therapist is going to work on um strengthening my ankles uh, which will hopefully help um in that regard um i accidentally opened the pin into my hand yes this keeps happening um usually if yes the other day i told you it was a highlighter and then a pin so I think it's it's just, I don't know what it is, if I'm getting a tick or something that is just causing me to do that to myself. Um, but yes, this pin was open, this one, so that one hurt a little bit more. 
Oh yes, accident. Oh yes, right. Um, oh yes, and I almost fell onto my bed. Um, I think um, I am losing like my balance. Like I feel like I'm gonna fall a lot. Like sometimes I'll just be like, oh, I almost fell, and I'm just walking. So I know that is. I'm gonna be more um, consistent. Um, eventually, I'll be falling more, um, but a lot of like just almost falling over onto things. Um, oh, <laughs> the lady that I um, go to her women's group at church um, picked me up, and I left her door wide open. Sorry, Melinda, um, but her her daughter was also in the car, so she closed it. Um, but yes, that was the first. Um, yes, I've never done that. Before, also, I uh, did it again where I took, put the toothpaste on my brush and then put the brush back in the cup before I brushed my teeth instead of the toothpaste. That's happened a couple of times. So, um, yes, threw my phone across the table. I told you that. Oh, but <laughs> it was nice that it didn't fall off the table completely because that would have possibly damaged it. But it went onto the chair underneath the table. So, I was like, yes. Um... All right. Oh, <clears throat> yes, and you guys know I have iced coffee in the morning, and I saw the coffee pitcher on the counter. So in my head, I was going to get the coffee to take out to the garage, but instead the cheese I had in my hand for my sandwich I make every morning, I started to carry to the garage. Like, I had to put the cheese away instead of the coffee. So that was kind of funny. Uh, let's see. Okay, almost done. Yes, hit my arm on the doorknob. I feel like that's been happening more, and those doorknobs just really hurt any part you bonk on them. Uh, left one sock on. Oh, put one sock on inside out. Put the slippers on the wrong feet. Thankfully, when I do that with the slippers, I do notice before I actually walk, but that part has been happening more. I bonked my knee on. Oh, yes. In the car, I'd somehow bonked my knee on the dashboard, like, where it comes down, getting in too fast. Um, so, I just, like, mentally, I just need to get into the car slower. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whacked my knee onto the bottom of the sink. Um, yes, which also hurt. So, I think we've made it through that for a second time. And then, oh, um, yes, the song that came on while um, I was preparing... Uh, it's called Even So, and um, this one's new to, I haven't put that one on the video, um, but it was really good and fitting, so um, that's going to be the song. And I decided to go back to the Amy Carmichael, um, probably for the next several months, uh, just because I finished it. The last one I did with you guys, there's only 40 in here. So, um, so, but with the new year, I just kind of wanted to s start fresh, um, because this is so good, but just, they're a little bit longer. So just bear it with me because there's a prayer at the end and a couple of verses. So this is called learning to live at home and, um, you are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Psalm 32, 7. I think distractions in prayer are often because we have let ourselves wander too far from the things that matter most. And so we slip into an easily interrupted, easily distracted frame of mind. We need to live more at home. In home, we live and move and have our being, Acts 17.28. This means simply, God is our home, home of my heart, lest I forget my redemption's cost to thee. Let my earliest thought be set upon thy Calvary. What, no, do you see what that, that mean? Do you see what I mean? These words which enter my attention on what matters most, speak of something that I cannot drop out of my day without great loss to me. I know without question that an earnest look at Calvary does more to help our life of prayer than we imagine. So shall the stayings of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing continually before thee, O Lord, my helper and my redeemer. My, and then here's a prayer. 
My father, something inward tells me I have been living scattered, sometimes anxious, restless, distracted, wandering inside. I fix my eyes upon the cross now, open the post and cross beam, which become my one bridge back to your side. And I will lift my eyes beyond the cross to the one who sits beside you, to Jesus, the risen one. My Lord, my brother, with arms outstretched to welcome, calling to me, come home, come, Father, I hide myself in you. So now you guys have had the Monday update and hope you guys have a great rest of your week until I talk again.